Did you know that, quote, being in love, end quote, is not the purpose of our existence? It's not the purpose of life at all. Isn't that fascinating? Hey, you're tuned into David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community. <laughs> Remember to take notes. This is a toughie for a lot of us. We've been bamboozled. We've been brainwashed into thinking that being in love, being in a loving relationship is the reason for our existence and nothing could be further from the truth. I know, it's a controversial statement. I can back it up in a heartbeat. Remember to take notes and do one thing today you'd rather not do. So let me tell you, in the in 28, almost 30 years as a counselor and a life coach, I have helped so many people work through this uh, ridiculous thought process that being in a love relationship is the reason for our existence. Really what that does is that creates codependency. It creates people staying in relationships that suck without getting help for way too long. It, it helps people jump from one relationship to the, to the next, never looking at their role in dysfunction, what they need to change. It keeps us mired in the ridiculousness of women's magazines, articles, romance novels, all of this kind of crap, that the whole purpose of my existence is to be in love with someone else. It creates chaos in relationships. It creates low self-esteem, low self-confidence. People that aren't in loving relationships that have that philosophy overeat, overdrink, oversmoke, overspend because they think there's something wrong with them. But what is the real purpose of life? It's to make a difference in the lives of others. Now, that could happen in a love relationship, but it could also happen in the way that Jesus did it, Mother Teresa did it, Nelson Mandela did it. it could have, there's millions of unspoken heroes, Rosa Parks, um, Martin Luther King. You know, there's all kinds of ways of being in service to others that could include a love relationship or maybe not. It could be the best parent ever. It could be changing your parenting skills as we grow older so that we are more amazing as parents to our adult children than we were when they were young. Like, it's all about the purpose of life is to serve others. The purpose of life is to ratchet up our own game in life so that we can be of service. It's to, to drop resentments, to, to drop um, prejudice. It's like there's so many different purposes of life, but we've been bamboozled, ladies and gentlemen, into thinking that the whole purpose is to be in relationship. And with that philosophy sunk in your subconscious mind, Mind, you and I will make one error after another. All the ones I said earlier. Now listen, if you struggle with this truth, and it's a truth, go back and watch this video 1,278 times. Okay? It's going to take a lot because most of us, if you're 30 or 40 or 60 or 80 and you're watching these videos, most of us have been bamboozled since we we're little kids. Fairy tales, saving the princess, finding the prince, blah, blah, blah. And do you know that by our accounts and our estimation, about 80% of relationships are horrendous in nature, are codependent in nature? I've worked with so many people that have thought so little of themselves because they can't find a love relationship and they jump from one bed to the next to the next. Or they overdrink, oversmoke, over everything to try to avoid that feeling that they're missing out on life. If you really want to get engaged in life, go help someone today. Volunteer, open your heart, be of service. That's the purpose of life. If I can help you at all to dismantle the subconscious belief systems that society jams down our throats every day, making us feel that we're not enough with the, the jewelry stores talking about how you got to have the next biggest ring, biggest necklace, most expensive, blah, blah, blah. Look at on all the home shopping networks selling all this stuff with jewelry to make you feel like you're missing out if you don't have the best rings and the, oh my God makes me want to puke. And I love being in love. And I love being in a loving relationship with someone that I want to see them maximize their potential as well as myself. But it's not the purpose of life. And when we can shatter that, we will find outrageous peace. Let me help you. Email me directly via this video or at talkdavid.com. Life is out there filled with inner peace if you're willing to think and act differently. Have a great day.